Cardi B is a record-breaking and award-winning rapper. She's also a social media icon, a reality TV star, and a meme on most online platforms. She's unchaste, politically incorrect, incredibly funny, and also a bit dramatic. But what describes her the best is how strategically and relentlessly she has worked to be where she is now. From poverty, gangs, and exotic dancing to the top of stardom, Cardi B's complicated life could have broken anyone, but not her. Today, I'll tell you the incredible story of how Cardi B got famous, so keep watching! Cardi was born in New York City on October 11th, 1992, to a Dominican father and a Trinidadian mother. Cardi's father was a cab driver and her mother a cashier, so they weren't wealthy by any means, and they split up while Cardi was young. During the first years of her life, Cardi lived in Washington Heights and Manhattan, but she moved to the Bronx when she was around eight years old. Once she was there, things were tough. Cardi remembers how in school, many girls wanted to fight her. It became so common that those fights just became part of her daily life. And this ferocity was all over the streets while she was growing up. According to Cardi, there was one day that a man just fell to the ground in front of his father's van as they were driving because he had a severe head injury from a weapon. Cardi did what she needed to do to survive in this environment, so she joined a gang when she was only 16 years old, but didn't stop going to school. Even if she was always the class clown and she didn't have the best grades, her teachers always believed in her intelligence, and they kept telling her that she would have a bright future. At home, Cardi's relationship with her mother was complicated. While she was growing up, her mother was very hard on her and her sister, and she even hit them to discipline them. Cardi doesn't resent her mom now. She actually appreciates how her mom did the best that she could, trying to raise them while she was working long hours and then going back home and cleaning. Just like her mother, Cardi was also trying to do her best, and she attended a vocational high school called Renaissance High School for Musical Theater and Technology. She couldn't help but skip a few classes here and there because she liked going to parties, but she was trying. When she was 18 years old, Cardi left her mother's house and started community college. At that time, she was working full-time at a supermarket for very little money, and it was difficult for her to balance out her work and her education. That's also when she started living with her boyfriend, with whom she had a very toxic relationship. He kept cheating on her, and they always got into big arguments about it. At some point, the fights became physical and Cardi's boyfriend started hitting her. When that happened, Cardi wanted to leave, but her job at the supermarket didn't give her enough money to escape, and she was really embarrassed to ask her mother to take her back into her home. To make things worse, Cardi was then fired from the supermarket for giving people big discounts. But before she left, her manager gave her a suggestion. He told her that she had a nice body, so maybe she should try going to the nightclub across the street and become a dancer. Cardi took the advice, and that changed her life forever. Dancing quickly gave Cardi enough money to leave her toxic relationship. According to her, in a sense, dancing saved her life. It also allowed her to go back to school to study liberal arts and political science, but she ended up dropping out, feeling that she didn't need that anymore. At this point, Cardi had already thought about being a rapper, but the harsh circumstances she lived in made her feel that pursuing a career in that area was just a crazy dream. As an adult, I was like, yeah, my dream is to be a rapper, but what makes me think that out of anybody, I will, I will be the one to pop or blow up? So Cardi decided to focus on dancing, which, at the end of the day, gave her enough money to pay her bills. Dancing was a good thing for Cardi in many ways, but she quickly started seeing the downside of it. Before her job as a dancer, Cardi always felt very confident with her body and her face, but then she started thinking that she would make much more money if she had more curvaceous figure. She was becoming very self-conscious. It kind of makes you feel like like your self-esteem always goes down. Cardi had already saved up some money, so she traveled to the Dominican Republic to get a chest augmentation. Once that was done, she got surgery in New York to make her butt bigger, but instead of getting proper surgery, Cardi opted to have illegal filler injections, which could have cost her her life if things went wrong. Luckily, it didn't, and after those two procedures, Cardi had a newfound confidence. She started posting videos on social media, mainly Instagram and Vine. Her bluntless, over-the-top personality and comical skills started getting her big following. Around 2013, Cardi was constantly posting videos on Instagram and Vine where she talked about men, money, and the experiences she got from her job. She was extremely funny. Anyways, I just wanted some simple braids and this over here got me looking like I played basketball. What the? 
Her content was not family friendly, but the polar opposite, and that was partly what made her so popular. Many people appreciated her honesty, her political incorrectness, and how she wasn't scared of being herself and speaking her mind. But some others really disliked her. Her haters shamed her for everything, from her teeth to her job. The hate about her teeth was so bad that she ended up deciding to fix them quickly to try to stop the mean comments. But once her teeth were fixed, people started bothering her about other things, so Cardi just tried to stop caring. She knew that there was always going to be something about her that people criticized. Handling the hate wasn't easy though, and Cardi said that at some points, it almost broke her down. Cardi's social media fame opened some doors for her, and in 2015, she was cast on Love & Hip Hop New York. Love & Hip Hop is a reality TV series that focuses on the struggles of female artists who aspire to be stars in the male-dominated world of hip hop. This reality TV show gave Cardi the chance to revisit the possibility of having a serious music career. Cardi was on two seasons of the show, from 2015 to early 2017. In November 2015, Cardi had her musical debut on Shaggy's remix to his single, Boom Boom, where she also collaborated with Pop Con. Her first music video ever, Cheap Weave was released at the end of 2015. In 2016, Cardi released her first full-length project, Gangsta and with the new opportunities that it gave her, in December 2016, she announced that she would leave Love & Hip Hop to focus solely on her music career. And it was the right choice. At the beginning of 2017, Cardi signed with Atlantic Records and she burst into the music scene. After that, Cardi's career kept going forward at an insane speed. As her music career took off, Cardi has also started collaborating with very important brands like MAC, with whom she partnered for an event in New York's Fashion Week. But as she made a name for herself as one of the most influential female rappers, she got haters that criticized her every step. People believed that Cardi's breakthrough as an artist had come too easily to her because she already had a social media following when she started making records. But according to Cardi, her following only made her career harder. The fact that she was a Vine creator and an Instagram comedian made it tough for people to take her seriously. This filled Cardi with self-doubts and made her feel that she had to put in extra work to show everyone that she has talent. People also didn't understand that apart from talent and effort, Cardi had really put a lot of money into starting her career. She saved as much as she could from all of her jobs to be able to pay for the best studios and the best engineers. It was not easy for her and nobody gave her anything for free. She got everything through her own effort and with her own money. And it was clearly worth it. In May 2017, Cardi was nominated for a BET award, and she was tied with DJ Khaled and Kendrick Lamar for the most nominations, with nine in total. Two of the nominations were Best New Artist and Best Female Hip Hop Artist. That was a huge achievement. In June 2017, Cardi's single Bodak Yellow was released, and it was on top of the charts for months. Its biggest achievement was reaching number one on Billboard Hot 10, which made Cardi the first female artist to do it with a solo single since 1998. The song also got nominations for Best Rap Performance and Best Rap Song at the 2017 Grammys. It looked like things couldn't go better for Cardi, but this insane success was only the beginning. In April 2018, Cardi released her debut studio album, Invasion of Privacy, and its reception was outstanding. Variety and the New York Times referred to the album as one of the most powerful debuts of the millennium. Invasion of Privacy literally made history. Having come from absolutely nothing, these achievements demonstrated how Cardi could do anything she wanted. She literally started from the bottom without help from anyone. Her determination, strength, and unstoppable personality were about to make her the new queen of rap. After the release of Invasion of Privacy, when she was performing on Saturday Night Live, Cardi announced that she was pregnant, and the rest is history. To this day, Cardi continues breaking records and holding titles. She's currently the female rapper with the most Billboard Hot 100 number one singles with five songs. She's constantly surpassing records set by legendary stars like Drake or Beyonce. All of Cardi's achievements made Forbes to name her one of the most influential female rappers of all time. She's also the rapper with the most billion streams on Spotify. She's also been honored as Woman of the Year by Billboard, and she was on the 2018 Time Magazine's list of most influential people in the world. As a little girl fighting constantly in her school in the Bronx, Cardi could never imagine that she would ever come this far. Today, she has a three-year-old daughter called Culture, and she's currently married to rapper Offset. She has everything she could ever have dreamed of. The best thing? Cardi is as humble, funny, down to earth, and wild as always. She's also very empowering and tries to encourage other young women to follow their dreams. And let me tell you something, when I win, it doesn't take away from other women's success neither. When another female wins, it doesn't take away from nobody's success, so stop crying. Stop crying! 
obviously not everything in Cardi's life is sunshine and rainbows. She's regularly involved in some celebrity drama, and apparently she has a history of throwing shoes at people, including Nicki Minaj. But overall, she's at a pretty good place. So from being the sassy girl from Vine and Instagram to one of the biggest names in rap on the music charts, Cardi B's life is an example of how hard work and determination can really make your dreams come true. What are your thoughts on Cardi's rise to fame? Let me know in the comments below.